All right, guys, I'm gonna level with you. We have no solid reasoning for doing this one, except that we just wanted to. We have no idea how you guys feel about this movie, but we love it, so we're doing it. Here are seven things you didn't know about Leon, AKA the professional, probably. Many of you may know that Leon was inspired by Jean Renault's character in Luc Besson's 1990 film La Femme Nikita. In that one, Renault plays another cleaner named Victor. Victor, nettoyeur. But what you may not know is the overall story of Leon's relationship with Matilda is based on Besson's real life relationship with his then girlfriend, the French actress known as Mai Wen. She played the diva in his next film, The Fifth Element, and here she is in Lyon. I'll talk to you later, sweetie. Anyway, Mai Wen met Luc Besson when she was only 12 years old, but he was 29 at the time. Sound familiar? Nonetheless, Mai Wen says that she was in love with Besson by the time she was 15. By then, he would have been 32. So the story of Leon and Matilda isn't shocking to Mai Wen because she feels that it's her story. And Mai Wen isn't the only person who doesn't see the film as shocking. No girl's first time is very important. It determines the rest of her life sexually. Even though the film was fairly controversial in the U.S., the French generally didn't get bent out of shape about Leon and Matilda's relationship. I'm sure plenty of you have strong opinions and a whole lot to say about it in the comments, so while you all do that, I'm just gonna move on to our next thing. Let's play a game. What kind of game? You know this part where Matilda and Leon play charades? Well, aside from Gene Kelly, which was written into the script, all of the stars Matilda impersonates came from Natalie Portman doing them in her audition. Luc Besson asked her what impressions she could do, and these were the three she came up with. She'd been a fan of Madonna in real life, so that one was a no-brainer, and she knew of Charlie Chaplin just from watching movies at home. But the best story is Marilyn Monroe, and it's the best because she's not actually doing an impression of Marilyn Monroe. She's doing an impression of Mike Myers doing an impression of Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Natalie Portman had seen Mike Myers do the happy birthday Mr. President shtick in Wayne's World and thought it was hilarious, obviously, and it stuck with her. So she basically just ripped it off for her Leon audition. Mr. President. This is just one of those impressions that never has to be particularly good to be still pretty good, you know? Like Christopher Walken, or Seinfeld, or Arnold. Now get to the chopper so we can move on to our next thing and I can stop doing these goddamn voices. Next thing! Filming on Lyon was split between the US and France. All of Lyon's apartment interiors are on a set at Epinay Studios, but parts like this in the hallways and on the stairs were done at the famous Chelsea Hotel on 23rd Street in New York. So right here, Lyon has actually gone from New York to Paris in a matter of seconds. But going back to the Chelsea Hotel, it's famous for artists like Andy Warhol, Dylan Thomas, and Mark Twain staying there, as well as Sid Vicious, who, coincidentally, Gary Oldman played in his first major movie role in Sid and Nancy. <laughs> and that is... Our obligatory bonus thing you didn't know. <laughs> I think we can all agree that the guns in Leon are pretty major, but Leon went into production just a few months after Brandon Lee was killed while filming The Crow. The tragedy cast a certain apprehension over the entire Leon production, and not least of all over Natalie Portman's parents. How's that? Since Matilda handles so many weapons in the film, Portman's parents hired a weapons expert to teach her how to assemble the guns herself, how to check to make sure there wasn't live ammo in there, how to tell the difference between a bullet and a blank, all of that kind of stuff. So for the most part, when we see Matilda doing her gun chores in the film, Natalie Portman pretty much knew what she was doing for real. And since she was only 11 at the time, that makes her pretty much the most badass tween ever. A little left, please. I mean, shit, I was still wetting the bed. Learning how to handle guns properly and safely wasn't the only requirement that Natalie Portman's parents had for her participation in Lyon. They also took issue with Matilda's smoking. In the end, they worked out a pretty detailed agreement with Besson on how the whole underage smoking thing was going to work. For one, we could see no more than five cigarettes in Matilda's hand throughout the film. Two, they couldn't be real cigarettes. Third, we could never see Matilda actually inhale. That's why we only see her bring the cigarette to her lips, but it always cuts away before we see her take a drag. The final rule was that the Portmans wanted Matilda to quit smoking during the course of the film, which she does. I want you to stop smoking, okay? Huh, I wonder if this means that the Portmans should get co-writing credit. What's happening out there? Okay, let's talk about this old lady here in the hallway. And I'm not being rude, by the way. She is actually credited as old lady. The actress is the late Jesse Kiosian, which I'm almost certain you didn't know. But that's not the thing you didn't know for this thing you didn't know. 
This thing is about how that actress playing the old lady was also Woody Allen's high school biology teacher. Crazy weird coincidence, right? And I don't have anything else to add here, so let's move on. Leon is easily one of Luc Besson's best works, and that makes it really hard to believe how quickly he wrote the script. It took only one month for him to write Leon. If it only took him 30 days to write Leon, then he must have spent just 30 minutes writing that piece of sh Lucy, am I right? <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other thing I've got. Besson had actually been working on The Fifth Element after La Femme Nikita, but the project was too big and was taking too long, so he decided to take on something more manageable until he could make The Fifth Element. He spun off La Femme Nikita into Leon banged out the script, and invited John Renault to dinner once it was done. After dinner, Besson and Mai Wen presented Renault with a gift, and once Renault opened the box, it was the script for Leon. Renault was so touched, he actually started to tear up, and he told Besson, I'm already ready. Turns out, he was right. Also turns out he was talking about the threesome they had that night. That's a wrap on this episode, so let us know if you like this one and if you love Leon. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out Cinefix.com and subscribe for more truish things about movies and sometimes people doing impressions of Mike Myers doing another impression right here on Things You Didn't Know.